I'm Leah Didden and we are here today on a brand new Southerly 38 and joining me is Roland who's the service engineer at Lumar and we're here to look at the Lumar Ocean 46 winch and take it apart. So first off I'll unscrew the cap. Now if that's a bit stiff uh, I can use a screwdriver and gently tap it but it is plastic so be careful. So I'm going to pop that in the bucket. It's quite a good idea sometimes to have either one or maybe even two buckets uh, at your feet or, or nearby so you keep all the, play, all the pieces in one place. Take off the self-tailing cap and then the drum next. You can take the drum off next, yeah, that's okay. fine. Just be careful of the bearings, they might fall out if they've been stuck in. Okay, so the bearings are on the, the main body of the winch but they sometimes get stuck inside the drum there. So pop the drum in the bucket got two bearings and a spacer washer in between. Now sometimes if you're, uh, particularly if you're doing this for the first time or it's a different winch, you might want to have a digital camera handy, take a couple of shots so that when you're putting it back together it's really easy. You can just flick through your, the pictures you took earlier or yesterday, however long <laughs> it takes. <clears throat> so am I best to pull out the, the main part first or the bearings next? Uh, you can take the centre spindle out now that's held in by the two collets at the top there. Those collets are holding that centre spindle in place. Okay. So now you should be able to withdraw that centre spindle. Oh, the centre spindle. Yep. Okay. So we've got two gears, the larger gear and the smaller gear. So it's a two gear winch, obviously. Pull that out with, I just put my fingernail underneath there, but you may want to use the screwdriver. So um, this winch is in fabulous condition. It's pretty clean. Um, but if you've left your winch servicing too long, you might consider wearing a pair of gloves. So pull this out. So what's going on inside here? Inside there, you've got two pulls and springs. Okay. So as you take that apart, they could spring out. Okay. So be careful with that. Yeah. As it is, uh, yep, yep. I've left a couple of pieces inside there. It's worth checking for wear on the pulls at this stage. And if it's a broken spring, obviously replace that. And how, how often do you think I should be replacing the poles? Uh, probably every five years and the springs you can replace every time you service. Okay. Uh, it's also worth checking the bearing that's in that uh, output gear here, this bearing here. Okay, the, the do central that. bit of plastic? That's it. Do that, just put this one in. Pop it through. Send the window in it and make sure it's a good fit. With if the bearing. Oh, lost a couple of bits. If it's a loose fit, Not then uh, change the bearings. So that's a prime example as to why you should do this in a bucket. <laughs> I've got one of the springs lost in there. Pop that. So it all looks quite good there. I mean, there's no visible no, wear. Very good, uh, little use. So you may not be able to see this one from behind. There's a second bearing here. Similarly, it has the pores and springs inside. So the two apart with caution so, yeah and again check that bearing there using that spindle so I've noticed that these are slightly different sizes why is that uh, one gear takes a higher load than the other so they have to be on different strengths of course that makes it really easy for when I've come to put it back together because very uh, easy because you can't mix up the spindles or the gear packages they can so only go in one way the larger one goes in the larger hole <laughs> example all right so there's my pause and springs pull them apart. Tricky little things. So again, what if they're a bit stiff there? How should I, what's my best tool to push that out with? Hey, if you get a new bearing, you can actually get a, another bearing and using that, just push it through. Okay, so I have a go. It just pushes right out. That's it, discard the old one. Look at that. There we go. You put a new one in. Cool. And there we have it.